moyo wa mwanadamu the heart of human being saa hiyo kichukuliwa unapelekwa hospitali if you have taken from here you taken to hospital kuna kitu daktari wa anaweka kwa masikio there is something that the doctor put on their ears wanapima roho ya mwanadamu inapiga hiyo kibibi they want to know how the heart of the man is kuonyesha ya kwamba moyo wa mwanadamu ndio unamfanya mwanadamu anakuwa hai to show that the heartbeat of a man is the one that make this man alive kabla haujafanywa chochote wanapima roho yako vile unataka anything is done or the agnosis is done you they test it look on the heartbeat wanapima ili ya kwamba waelewe Shida iko wapi? They want to just see what is happening. Kwa sababu kulingana na daktari, iko vile Mungu aliumba mwanadamu heartbeat yake vile inapiga. According to the doctor there is a way God designed the heartbeat of man. Ah. Najua ya kwamba utabarikiwa. I know that you are going to be blessed. Najua ya kwamba Bwana atakukuza. I know God is going to touch you. Naenda kusoma kitabu cha Methali. I want to read the book of Proverbs. Kitabu cha Methali ina sura ya 23. Proverbs 4 verse 23. Maandiko yanasema hivi. Bible say. Linda moyo wako kuliko vyote ulindavyo God your heart than any other thing Maana hapo ndipo zitokazo chemchemi ya uzima Because that comes the life Linda moyo wako kuliko vyote ulindavyo God you add than anything else Ruhusu moyo wako neno la Mungu litawale Allow your God the word of God to meet your heart Wakati neno la Mungu linaingia ndani ya moyo wako and the word of God enter into your heart Stress ya dunia hii inakuondokea Stress of this world depart from you Matatizo ya dunia hii inaondoka Trap of this world depart lakini usipolinda moyo wako if you cannot guard your heart itakuletea matatizo maishani being a lot of trouble in your life kwa sababu gani anasema hivyo why did this person say so anasema ni kwa sababu moyo wako umechoa machungu he says because the heart is full of pain ndio na neno linasema ya kwamba that is the why the word of what said ni moyo wako kuliko vyote ulindani you are hard than anything else wakati unalinda moyo wako you guard your heart hapo ndipo kuna chemchemi ya uzima there comes life hapo ndipo baraka za Mungu zinakuja blessing of the lord come from there. Ina mikono yako sema amen. Raise your hands and sing. Tunakuja kwa kanisa tulisikia neno la Bwana. We have come to the church to listen to the word of God. Ili kwamba maisha yetu yakuwa transformed. So that our life get transformed. Ili kwamba neno la Bwana maisha yetu yakuwa transformed. Ili so that our life get transformed. Lakini kama hautalisikia neno la Bwana. If we cannot listen to the word of God. Moyo wako utajaa ulimwengu. Your heart will feel the world. Utaanza kufikiria vile ulimwengu unafikiria. You will start to thinking like the world think. Ina mikono yako sema amen. Raise your hands and say amen. Man. Linda moyo. Linda moyo. God you are kuliko vyote ulindavyo. Than anything else in and you are. Yes wakasema. Yes Jesus said. Mali asina ya mtu ilipo. Where the treasures how is the moyo wake ulipo. There is the heart. Kuna watu hapa kuna vitu kwa nyumba yake uweze kuza. There are some people here there are things in their house you cannot touch. Maana hapo ndipo moyo wake uko. There is there there place their heart there. Lakini Bwana akitawala moyo wako. But if God dominate your heart. Utakula mema ya inji. You will eat the bread of the world. Utaishi furaha maishani mwako. You will stay happily in your life. Kwa sababu moyo wako umetawaliwa na neno. Because your heart is dominated Daudi by the world. Akasema, Daudi David said. Nimeliweka neno lako ndani ya moyo wangu. I put your word in my heart. Ili nisije nikaibika. So that I cannot be ashamed. Nimelichukua neno lako. Take it your word. Nimeliweka ndani ya moyo wangu. Put it in my heart. Hii ni sisi ni kaifuka I cannot be ashamed Amen Linda moyo kuliko vyote ulinda God you are than anything else God your heart Linda moyo wako kuliko vyote ulinda God you are than anything else Jeremiah 17 verse 9 Moyo huwa mtanganyifu kuliko vyote The heart is deceitful than anything else. Na una ugonja wa kufisha. Then it has a disease of that little death. Nani awezaye kujua? Who can know it? Mimi Bwana, I God, huchunguza mioyo. I detect the heart. Na kujaribu viuno. And I test the west. Sasa viuno tutaongea siku nyingine. Uh, the west will talk about it next the other time siku ya viuno tutaongea siku nyingine there's a time set aside for the west but today we are talking about the heart that's why ukikutana na msichana 
That is that's why when you meet a girl, unamwambia nakupenda na roho yangu yote. You tell I love you with all my heart. Yoni uongo mtupu. That is a great lie. Moyo ni mtanganyifu. The art is deceitful. Atakwambia nakupenda ndani ya moyo wako atabadilika. He tells tell you I love you with my heart and then he changes tomorrow. Wako anaanza kuambia wote, "Eh nani nanipenda na roho yangu yote, roho hubadilika." He starts saying he loves me with all my heart. Sio mimi nasema neno la changes. Moyo ni mtanganyifu. The heart is deceitful. Sio mimi nimesema Matthew. It's not me who Maxwell of saying. Neno la Mungu linasema. The word of God says. Nani awezaye kujua? Who can be able to understand? Moyo wa mwanadamu ni mtanganyifu kuliko yote. The heart of man is so deceitful. Tumesoma kwanza kwamba linda moyo wako kuliko yote. We have read at first that God your heart na tumekuja tukapata kwamba moyo mwenyewe ni mtanganyifu and we have realized this art is very deceitful nani awezaye kujua who can understand it mimi mwambia watu hivi many times i tell people wakati unatafuta mchumba when you're looking for a spouse tafuta mtu ambaye muko compatible in blood look for that one whom you are compatible in not, blood not roho yake inakupenda na yako inamupenda juu moyo upatie when the heart loves and your heart is loved si haitafanya it cannot work lazima hizo vitu zikuwe compatible it must be compatible even if you uchumba ulivyo that is how spouses work lakini wewe ukianza kusema kwamba mimi naonaga yeye ananipenda na roho yake hiyo roho huruka if you just stand and say that uh, you love me with the heart she loves you siku hiyo roho itaruka it will come a time when when that heart changes na ndio nafikia wa siku hizi watu wanasema kwamba my 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 husband is cheating on me that is why now is you have my has my wife is cheating on me sasa hapo compatible hakuna a compatibility Hakuna. it does not exist compatibility does not exist moyo hubadilika the heart changes moyo ni mtanganyifu heart is deceitful that's why david akasema nimelichukua neno la bwana niliweke moyo ni mwangu ili nisikuje nikaibika that is why david said i've taken the word of god have hidden in my heart that i can not say shame tu ya kuwa mazuri turuhusu neno la mungu liingie ndani mwetu control if we want our church to look good we will need to take the word of god and allow it to dominate us dad ukienda kuchukua mashauri ya dada mwingine vile amekana bwana yake hujui alimpikia kamtena wewe hujui kamteka na kaje utaharibu nyumba you take time and take the counsel of another person you don't know what that person did you destroy your mind. Huyu my brother akichukua mashauri yake akupatie vile anakana mke wake akupatie ndugu nyumba yake itavunjika. If you take the counsel of this brother on how he's staying with the wife and then you start exercising on it your house is in danger. Mimi bwana yangu ananipelekanga outing. My husband take me outing. Na wewe hata hujawahi pelekwa kanunuliwa mutura. You've never been you have never take, been taken out to and even eat some mutura. Kwa nini umekuwa na kisirani? Why are you murmuring that house? Neno la Mungu halipo ndani mwako. The word of God is not in. But neno la Mungu likiwa ndani mwako. The word of God is in your heart. Hautawahi aibika. You will not be ashamed. Wanawake wenye wanahangaika leo wanafuata mashauri ya watu ama wanaume wenye wanahangaika leo kwa madoni kwa sababu hawakufuata neno la Mungu. When women of today who are very in trouble who are in trouble in the marriages even men it is because they had no word of God hidden in them. Last Sunday nikitoka hapa nikipanda gari hapa last Sunday when I was going out from this place kuna kakitu walikuwa wameandika kwa matatu ya kwamba vumilia kama yule mwanamke ameolewa na mrefu. There is some writing that was on the on the, on the matatu that was saying be patient like a woman who is married to a drunkard. Wewe kama unaweza vumilia mrefu if you can be able to be patient with a drunkard. Kwa nini usiwache neno la Mungu lika ndani ya maisha yako. Why can't you allow the word of God to stay in your heart? I love that. I love that. Wapendwa tusipotembea na neno la Mungu tutaisha. Brethren, if we cannot walk with the word of God, we Bible inasema mke mwema hutoka kwa Mungu. The Bible say a good wife come from God. Wewe ambia Mungu ya kwamba tell God nataka nikutane na mtu mwenye ana roho kama yako. I want to meet a person who have a heart like me. Kino kianza kwenda mbele ya Mungu kama simu. If you want to go before the Lord like like Ukita, a phone. Ukitafuta contact ya Pastor Jackson Wickliffe inakuletea hapo chini option. Oh, cont- <laughs> <laughs> Inakuambia SMS? It, SMS? Call? Call? Or address? Sasa wewe ukienda mbele ya Mungu na, go, na, na, na option. When you go before the Lord with options. Mungu inakuomba unipe ndugu Kevo. Kevo, oh, Kevo. Unamuomba Mungu akupatie Kevo. Si uende tu muambie Kevo mimi nimekuja nataka unioe. God <laughs> Mungu hata kupatia na hautasikia Mungu akisema God will not hear you not hear him talking Moyo ni mtanganyifu kuliko vyote The heart is very deceitful than anything else Tukiacha neno la Mungu litawale mioyo yetu If we can allow the word of God to dominate in our heart Wapendwa tutashinda ulimwengu 
brethren we will defeat the world na wacha niwaambie wale wenye uomo na shida kwa tv mkiona watu wakiombea wakianguka those who watch over the tv and see people being prayed for and they fall down mimi ukiona hivi hawaniombea ngi ovyo ovyo wacha niwaambie don't pray for me just like that watu wenye wanaomba yanga ovyo ovyo ni wenye hawana neno la mungu those people who are prayed for and and again and again they don't have sema nani hata kuogoka yeye ako mbele nani nani ako na shida yeye ni wa kwanza kuinua who has a problem is the number one huyu mtu anaonekana hapa mara nane that this person will be here eight times kwa nini anaonekana hapa kila mara why is he here eight times hana neno la mungu doesn't have the word of god neno la mungu likisema sema you have to forgive if the word of god say forgive you for, you forgive neno la mungu likisema ya kwamba penda utapenda if the word of god command love you love neno likisema ti lazima uti if the word of god say heal you heal kwa nini mwenye anati bible inasema ya kwamba heri kuti kuliko dhabihu the, the bible says better obey than sacrifice wewe hauheshimu mzee wako lakini wewe unaenda kutoa sacrifice you don't want you don't obey your husband you are giving the sacrifice hizo pesa enda nunua nyama ukule that money please preserve it buy a very good nyama kutini bora kuliko dhabihu <laughs> obedience is better than sacrifice moyo wa mwanadamu the heart of human being linda moyo kuliko vyote ulindavyo god you are harder than anything else hata unaona kuvaa kwenye tunavaa you have you seen the way we dress ni moyo na at the heart nakuta mtu amekuja kwa kanisa You find somebody has come to church. Amevaa nguo imemshika na kaa kama sausage yenye nachoma kwa barabara. I swear the tight clothes are look like a sausage. Na wewe ni dadi unatafuta ndugu. And you want you are looking for husband. Hebu nikuulize nani atakuoa? Let me ask you who will marry you? Hata kwa ulimwengu wa roho nani atakuoa? In the world of spirit who will marry you? My dress is my choice. Uh, my dress my choice. Yaani kuvalia kwangu ni uamuzi wangu. Na wakati unapoongea hivyo unafikiria mbingu? When you say that one what do you think about? Unajua Daudi akiwa kwa korofa alimuona mke wa Uria akioka. When David was in the pinnacle he saw the wife Uria. Lakini Bible inasema alikuwa anaoga. The Bible say he was having a path. Daudi kupitisha macho akaona. When he was looking around he saw. Men wa eh, wanaume wali, wali, waliumbwa kuona. Uh, the men were created to see. Sasa huko kikuja hapa umekaa kama ya mutura wow oh, how do you expect wao ndugu wenye wako hapo tawafanyaje if you come here looking like mutura how would you want these men to survive hapo najua hatutapenda uh, we cannot like that that, that area Ata we will like charuti chini a man will be very but wa, kile kinajalisha ni mbingu but what we what depend is the heaven ena kuabudu unafikiria akili akili hii ni kama computer this this mind is like a computer macho naona the ic na inasukuma ndani ya moyo and it pushes sasa hapo ndipo neno la Mungu linaanza ku function that is where the word of god starts to tahubiri tu baraka eh mtabarikiwa eh eh receive receive house siku nyumba mimi nakuuliza na hata hujawahi weka shilingi 1500 kwa account utareceive nyumba nani alisahau hiyo nyumba ndio kwa upewe you have never saved even 5000 you are receiving the house lakini mnaenda hapo mnajiangusha eh receive wewe endelee ku receive mimi maxwell nita save nijenge nyumba Uh, Maxwell, I'll save and pull the house not receiving. Kupatia principle ya kupata nyumba. Can I give you the principle of having a house? Fanya kidole vidole yako ina hivi. Put this up your for first. One, one is to work. Yeah, the first one is to work. Kunja nikikunja pia unakunja. Hmm. Second is to work. This ya pili ni kufanya kazi. Third is it's to work. Ya tatu ni kufanya fourth is to work. Ya nne ni kufanya kazi. Hiyo ndio principle ya ku receive. That is the principle of receiving. Wacha kwenda kuchangusha angusha mbele ya watu unachangusha angusha ukijua asha yako nyuma don't fall fall and howly when you know the ashes na kama yuko wezi jiajiria when the ashes is absent now you stand still wapendwa brethren mwenye aliimba akasema ya kwamba njia hiyo nyembamba iendayo usimani huyo mtu alikuwa na ufunuo that person had a revelation Jia ya mbinguni haiendi na umati the part of heaven does not go Jia ya mbinguni inaenda na wale waliofuata maadili ya Mungu the part of heaven are for those one who are for the exact what God say Yesu akasema Yes did you say Ukitaka kunifuata when you want to follow me Tikane na ubebe msalaba kila siku I yourself and carry your cross every day and follow me na ukatae yote ambayo yanakufurahisha deny all that pleases you Paul akasema naliyehesabu yote kuwa mavi and, the, and Paul said I counted all as rubbish Sita why you acha kuvaa vile navaa hii I will not stop wearing dressing the one dress Last Sunday nilikuwa na coat the hata ya kesho nitakuwa na coat Sita why badilisha kuvaa I will not change the my mode of dressing Mtu wako kwa madhabahu anaimba 
na longi huku nyuma ni kama ameara ndani hata anaimbia Mungu anaimbia Mungu vitu gani na amefuruta longi amefungia pamoja Somebody is worshiping here and the trosa is like is messy is messy wana fry eh waimbaji wetu waimbaji wa nani eh amen amen mimi mtu akikuja hapa pasta siku ile nitaamka kwa hiyo kiti nitimue mtu hapa usinilaumu yes when We are not here to play church games. To chase him, chase our canisa apa. Na atuna bingu ya kuwapereka. And we don't have heaven to take you. Bingu ni amungu. Heaven is for God. Na sisi tuta ukumbiwa bila tuliwa ubiria. We will be judged the way we preach to you. Kama atuta wa ubiria bizuri tuta ukumbiwa. If we not be preach well, we will be able to be judged. Na watu wa mesahau shetani bingu ni alikuwa na itu alusi fa mana ya kesifa. The people have forgotten that the devil was called Lucifer, the great singer. Na ndio naona waimbaji wanapeanana mamimba mara wakitoka hapo wameshikana mikono wanaenda kuzini. That's why very many singers when they sing and when they go out of there they have gone to do other funny things. Nini fukuza mwingine mahali nilikuwa mbio kama mm. kitu Yes, I kama chased some one, one time I chased somebody. Nini mfukuza kama ukifukuza shetani na maombi? I chased like we chase the devil with prayers. Unajua kwa kwetu we are used to kuimba nyimba za wa, za wa, za wa, tu kutahoto ya tohara tulizoea. Yeah. We are used to those particular Sasa tena nikikuja kuimba hapa si kitu kigeni kwangu. Even if I come to sing I there's no problem. Na wewe kama mwalimu ulizoea kusimama mbele ya wanafunzi. If you are teacher and you've used in standing before children. Wewe ukikuja mbele ya washiriki unafikiria hao wanafunzi. Wana, 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 wana you when you come before the the people of God in the church you Kwa think that they are children. Hivyo. Because that is how you used to. Sasa wewe kusimama mbele ya watu si shida. You standing before people is not a problem lakini mtu mwenye ana neno la Mungu but somebody who has the word of god anaomba Mungu nikumbuke i pray god remember Mungu me Mungu nitembere god feast me nikisimama kwa madhabahu nataka kuona mkono wako when i stand in the pool i want to see your hand kini unakuta mtu anaimba na eh bwana niliimbaje when somebody sing sinilipeba umati i carried this crowd ushindwe shin ona beba umati kwani umewatoa wapi you carry the crowd where are you caught that crowd from Inua mikono yako sema amen. Amen. Nataka tusome mstari wa mwisho. Want to read the last verse. Linda moyo wako kuliko vyote ulindaye. God you are other than anything else. Kuna mganga mmoja ambaye nilipenda hata ninampenda mpaka leo. There's one there's one which which doctor I love and I love him today. Kuna mmoja alikuwa kila siku na bwana yake. A woman there's a certain woman who was being beaten by a husband every day. Alikuwa anapigwa mpaka hujawaiona. He was beaten terribly. Kwanza wakiomba kwa kanisa akifika nyumbani pastor ndio nilipigwa kabisa. And when they pray and then when he enter, she goes back to house is when he's beaten the more akaamua kwenda kwa mganga he decided to go to the witch doctor mganga akamwambia nataka uende unilete kitu fulani witch doctor told go and bring something unaona ile manyoya yanakuanga kwa mkia ya simba the air of the lion enda unilete the tail the tail of the lion nataka tu usimbii i want only two pieces mama akaenda kwa mbuka ya wanyama sijui ilikuwa ya langata ama ya sabo the woman went to an particular reserve simba imelala the lion is living there akasonga akaitupia nyama he moved closer simba simba ikamzoea this lion get used to mwisho wake alifika akakuza simba and then he went and touched the lion na akatoa manyoya ngapi and they picked two akaenda kwa mganga he went to muganga bila alifika kwa mganga when he entered in the muganga's house a wapi vyenye nilikutuma where is this the thing i sent akasema ndio hii he said the, they are here they are una uhakika hii ni manyoya ya simba are you sure this is from the lion kabla sijaongelesha mababu are you sure una una uhakika ya kwamba hii ni manyoya are you sure this is from the lion akasema ndio he said yes akamwambia fanya hivi said Video video uli pombereza simba enda pombereza bwana yako. The way you were able to convince that particular go and do it with your your, your husband. Mganga nilipenda. That is a, the witch doctor I loved. Kama unaweza pombereza simba yenye nakula inakumaliza inakumeza na meno. If you can be able to come down the line which can be able to eat and kill you. Bwana yako atakushinda. Your husband can you, can your husband be able to do it? Kwanza wacha nikwambie wadada nyinyi muko na na ubunifu mwingi sana wa kuwini watu. You have a very great opportunity of winning people. Kama huyu mama alipombeleza simba, if this woman was able to come down the lion, hata unaweza pombeleza hayo magumu. Even you you can be able to do it. Na wale wenye mnajiandaa kuingia kwa ndoa, wewe usifanye tu uamuzi kwa sababu umeona mtu ameamua timu yake inaenda. Badala ya kuokea wife utaangukia knife. Instead of falling getting a wife you get a knife. Badala ya kuangukia husband utaangukia hama instead of getting husband you will get an hammer chukua muda mzuri muda wa mungu take your time the good time of god na hakikisha damu yako na yeye is compatible make sure your blood and his blood is compatible 
Jenye anafikiria wewe unafikiria. What you think is what she said. Sangine mnangangana kupigania simu network zinakongana amupatani. And sometimes you are calling and she's calling and then they, they meet on the way. Sangine nimekufikiria kukupigia hata mimi saidi kuwa na dial number yako. I thought to call you and even me I've taught me to call you now. This what, these people with the deceitful art, art I slept without eating he, he has eaten a lot than, until he forgot to pray let us read the last verse we will finish the service of today Matthew 15 Matthew 15 Bas, eh, mustari wake wa 17. The verse number 17. Mandike nasema ya kwamba, the word of God says, hamutafahamu bado ya kuwa, you have known yet that kila kiingia cho kinyoani hupita chooni. Everything that enters through the mouth go to the toilet. Na kika tupwa chooni. And they strung to the toilet. Bali viatokavyo, vitokavyo kinyoani viatoka moyoni. But, but that come out of the mouth come from the heart. That is what that what that what which make a person wicked. What come out of the heart is what make a person a wicked. Those words that people speak out are coming from the heart. If you are very abusive, we know that the heart is full of abuses. When you find somebody talking marriage, know that in the heart there is a lot of it. Because the Bible said, What enters to the mouth, God to digest, tracked to the Toilet. But that one that come from the heart, then out of the mouth is the one that make a person weak. In the morning, I've taken tea, bread, and egg. The that is why you find when you, where you are staying, what come out of you will make you be in a bad situation. Because what you pronounce come from the heart. Those who left some two years of Busan Changa. Facing somebody was very difficult task. I want, I war and drink and then I, I'll come. I'll tell you every single word. Will, until I point the finger in your eyes. And tomorrow when I'm sober. Ah, that was the issue of that. Because, but in essence, these words were in my heart. What come from the mouth? They have come from the heart. I don't know whether somebody is catching me. I know that somebody is catching me. It is very bad that preachers of today, you go at you are praying prayer center and then when you come home, the children say uncle they cannot recognize Ata your father you baba. they don't know whether you are father let me tell you, there are others who are talented you come with a biscuit this child start looking like daddy uh, then this child changes the name call that the biological father daddy uncle the one who come with a biscuit daddy those things happen those that can come out of the mouth come from the heart that is what make a man dirty because in the heart come a bad reasoning. Murder. Killing somebody is a plan that this person has initiated. This, this thing has been in the heart that I must kill. Even, even, even adultery. Uh, there's, some, there's a woman here when he sees money there he, she is 
This person started planning in advance. Those people who are coming from Western, when we want to get all of the hand, we chose a maze. When they enter the house, you close the door. The other ladies, when you start giving money bit by bit, they enter the house. Uh, I went into the church in this testimony. There are certain mama stood and said, Praise the Lord. I've gotten somebody who will pay my rent. Is that a testimony? Amen. 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 With, uh, okay. Envy. Uh, false testimony. Na matukano. Na abuse. Hayo ndio ya mutiaye mutu unachisa. That one destroy and make a man dirty. Lakini kabla ya ujanawa mikono haimuti mutu unachisa. Before you wash your hand does not make you unclean. Na hivi tuviote na moyo. The, all this come from the heart. So wapenda mimi nataka kuambia hivi. Brethren I want to tell you this. Wakati ninapomaliza, when I'm about to finish. Linda moyo wako kuliko vyote ulinda. God you add than anything else. Neno la Mungu likijaa moyo wako ndoa yako itapona. When the word of God is full in your heart, your, your marriage will be healed. Na Mungu akamwambia Adam, and God told Adam, kwa sababu ulimsikia mkeo, because you listen to your wife. Ukakula mti niliyokukataza. You ate from the tree I told you not to do. Art imelaniwa kwa ajili yako. The, the art has been cast because of you. That's why mwanamke atakikani msichana atakani kupewa shamba kwao. That ndio sababu that, that is why the woman cannot inherit the land in his own place. Because the woman cannot Let me ask you. The, the government of Kenya wanted to twist that the ladies should inherit land in their birthplace. If the husband you are staying with, you are struggling with him, I give you 10,000 to do budgeting. Utachukua elfu mbili uweke kando kila mwezi unaficha shilingi elfu mbili every month you keep 2000 ikifika una mwaka matofali kwa hiyo shamba yenye babaka alikupea when it reach a point you you just start building that Waka, particular wakati unajenga boma inaisha when you build that house is complete unamwambia bwana yako si lazima niishi na wewe you tell your husband it's not a matter that must you know you imesimama eh you know imesimama that that marriage is done you know haijasimama that marriage will that's stand that's why mungu alisema that's why God said the wife will be able to be nurtured by the husband. And then the man was cast because of the land. Have you seen the way it goes? Go and get that money, start a business. Don't say that my father has a plot in Kayole. Musa kwa let, me tell, let me tell you God taking away Moses from Jethro's home kwa kina bibi. You cannot stay in your wife's wajia. house God, God removed him from there Laban, Laban Yakobo. Labani, the, uh, Even Laban was taken by Yakobo Akafanya uh, mwaka wa kwanza Wapiri watatu wa saba Akapewa muke mwenye apendi uh, It worked for seven good years And was given a wife that he, was not, he did not love he realized he's not loved, he did another seven years. You will end up getting a very good terrorist. Uh, pastor, we prayed amidst this time round. We prayed amidst this time round. Uh, that one is shown over there. The others are shown, but they are not uh, together. Take the word of God, hide it in your heart, it will build your marriage. If you go to this place, when you realize you are from the camp, they cannot miss in my place because those are names from where I come from. Wanjoi hawezi kosa kwa familia ya wakikuyu. Kama si ndugu yako au baby baba yako ama uncle yako. Those names are coming from those side of kikuyu. They cannot be. 
Mambo ya kisi wakawachana nayo kama huko itwa wacha wachana nayo this, this issue of guessing out leave it if you are not called to be a prophet leave. sasa maandike nasema hivi the, the, the word word says kimtiacho mtu unachisa what that fire and yeye ndio kinatoka moyoni they come it come from the heart jina la bwana lipewe sifa the linda moyo wako kuliko vyote ulinda god your heart than anything else maana hapa ndipo sitokazo chemichemi za usiku they come the live imeandikwa it is written mwanadamu hataishi kwa mkate tu human being cannot live by the blood of christ lakini hataishi kwa kile neno litokalo kwa kinacho kwa by every word that come from the mouth of god usifuatane na dunia don't follow what the world does fuata vile neno la mungu linasema just follow what the word of god say fuata vile neno la mungu linasema follow what the word of god say in your manyo yetu This is our manual. Hiyo inatuongoza maishani. This is what guiding us in life. Wakati pastor anakuja kuomba, when the pastor is coming to lead us in prayer. Nataka moyo wako ufungue moyo wako ili ya kwamba moyo wako neno la Bwana lichae maishani. I want you to open your heart so that in your heart become up at the this world. Wakati dhurupa inakuja utasimama maana uko na neno la Mungu. When the storm come, you can stand firm because you have the nerve word of God. Wakati ndoa yako inatingizika, neno la Mungu litafanya kazi kwa maisha yako. When the is a shake up in your marriage you have enough word to stand wakati kuna shida kazini neno la Mungu litakusimamia and there's a trouble in your workplace the word of god will stand 